Today I figured I would build a parking pad so that when I've got my boat parked here, it doesn't have a bunch of grass growing all around it. So if I take off for a little while, I've just got a place where I can store all my toys. I've strung a line across here that's sort of parallel to the garage. It's gonna come off of that fence post and that's where I'm gonna have a little bit of a concrete curb in here. The reason I want that curb if you look at the corner of my garage here, it's kind of undercut, so this is pretty low. So I'd actually like to raise this pad up a little bit and get rid of this ramp. So this will basically just be a step up and then everything here will be nice and flat and level. While I'm at it, this old ramp, <laughs> this isn't the uh, perfect gold mining material, but I might be able to harvest this for a future sluice project. Because a single sheet of this 3 8 plywood is worth approximately $3 trillion at the moment, I've managed to get all of this done with just one sheet. All I've been doing to speed up this side is I've cut a piece which is the exact size that I need this inside to be. I'll take my spike, sort of press it up nice and tight like that, and that's going to guide it in exactly where I need it to be. Hammer it on in. Well, a lot more gravel here than I used to have. At this point, what I'm doing is I'm taking that high spot over by the wheelbarrow, digging it out, getting rid of all the big organic chunks like roots, and just sort of dumping it over here where it's a bit lower so that I can level everything out with a rake prior to putting the first layer of the road crush on top and tamping it down. I've thrown down some rebar and just one central piece all the way down this trench. Now what I've done is I just cut a bunch of pieces of wood to hold it up. And then once I clear up that little pile of organics, I'm gonna spread out the rest of my big rock pile over here. I've sort of built this guy here to separate the lilacs in here. I've got uh, basically just rebar going into the ground. I think this is more typical of what you might do, but I know you're not supposed to have the rebar exiting the concrete at any point because that's an ingress point for rust, but this is far from structural. I'm really happy I stuck with keeping the lilacs there in that high point. These are going to be budding very shortly and they're just going to have these beautiful purple flowers. They smell amazing. They provide a little more privacy into the yard. So really happy I could keep that so that it's not just one giant hunk of ugly gravel when it's all finished. 
had a little landscape fabric lying around so I threw that in just along the fence where you know there might be some weeds growing along the far side there and of course where there's a, a pretty powerful root system under those lilacs I don't want anything popping in through that the center of this pad I'm hoping uh, there will be a thick enough layer of gravel to hold back most of the growth and then worst case scenario I go around a little hand sprayer and spray any you know really persistent weeds that poke through a couple months out and then from there on out it should be fairly low maintenance finally something exciting to film so these little guys were kind of bent and this was touching the tire you can see it's like all shinied up there but this just got so bad the whole wheelbarrow was super crooked so I figured I would uh, reinforce it with a little chunk of aluminum I've got back here holding it into place if these vice grips aren't here it's all wonky all over so that's just holding it into place and then pretty heavy duty rivets see how we go. Ooh, that looks, looks nice and straight. This side is holding up for now, so I'm just gonna leave it and uh, back to work. Slowly but surely, picking away at this pile, kind of gets me to thinking, this is 10 cubic yards of material. That is, uh, I spent three days and 2,700 shovels once, shoveling that much gravel out of the river to find about 10 grams of gold. So <laughs> really makes you really makes you appreciate not having to go out and shovel gravel sometimes, but what can I say? As soon as I get this finished and a floor in my boat, it's time to go gold mining again, so <laughs> I have more of that to look forward to. Okay, so I've gone around with the vibe plate one time. And the reason I did this is because certain areas are gonna sink more than others. So now that everything's kind of been compacted down, I can take my wheelbarrows and try to actually level things out a little bit before I go for the second round. 643 for 30 kilograms. And that is Portland cement mixed with gravel. Or you come down here and you get 40 kilograms. 1663 that's purely Portland cement they are recommending that I mix one part of the general use cement with two parts sand three parts gravel which would be essentially five parts of this road crush to one part of this It's all full of concrete, it's all vibed into place. I guess I'll uh, keep an eye on it and I'll try to brush the surface at the end, but you know, it, it serves its purpose. It's not you know, the most beautiful thing. <laughs> Plus, uh, I'm learning, so there you go. So far so good, still got to brush it, and then of course I got to fill in the rest of this. This is going to be the last one, for this little project at least. Um, 
I went through a lot less cement than I actually thought I would. Uh, that's kind of cool. So it really does go a long way. I thought it was going to be like two to one mix, but then I read it and I was like, oh wow, I can go like four to one, or five to one. So yeah, it, it goes a long way. And the actual cost of doing the concrete is going to be way less than I had originally planned for. So I was concerned because I didn't really float this very nicely or trowel it or whatever you call it. I don't know what I'm doing, but came back about three, four hours later, just using this little broom and I'd kind of dip the broom in some water and then brush it over the surface. And I've got what I would consider to be a pretty reasonable sort of brushed concrete surface. So I stripped off most of the forms and you can see there's a couple little like air bubbles and stuff in, in that edge, but just overall really nice smooth edge. Even this top corner looks quite presentable. Getting some alley work done, so I better get the rest of my gravel into the yard. I really think this final product looks great. Clean things up a lot. It does look sort of like a barren chunk of land, but I got to keep my lilac, which I'm really happy about. Did a quick little touch up of the paint on my fence. So that looks nice and clean. And uh, yeah, overall, the end result is definitely worth it. It's gonna give me a great place to park some things, maybe build a shed on the corner. And just so it's not completely empty space, I don't need to park things all over the place. So I'll definitely build like a little raised bed or get, get some sort of garden up against the fence there. Well, there it is. Uh, super stoked with how it turned out. The final cost of everything, I mean, for what I got, I think it's pretty good. I got a step up into my garage, which is going to be super useful. Um, sort of a nice separation from lawn to, to parking pad area. So I'm not going to have to, you know, whipper snip all of the weeds that are lying around here all the time. Uh, it was 10 yards of road crush. That cost me 570 Canadian dollars delivered in a big pile there, as you saw. And it actually ended up only using seven bags, the 88 pound bags of Portland cement to mix all of this concrete. And that was about $130 for that. So all in $700 um, for big parking pad. Feels solid. Um, I will update in the description below this video sort of what the weed situation is like, but I, I feel like I had the right balance of landscape fabric along the fence where plants could grow in underneath and where my lilacs are just so that, you know, roots with a lot of, uh, you know, energy behind them don't start poking up through all the time. But everything else here, I'm hoping just the little bits of grass and weeds that were underneath will be held down by all this gravel and should be good. If I have to spray it with Roundup once this fall just to sort of kill everything off, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Um, in the comments below. So check back for that later if you want to see how that worked out. But I'm really happy with it. I hope this was useful to somebody who was sort of, again, it's not like the perfect situation. It was sort of done on a budget. And this is an example of how it can be done on a budget. So that's what you were looking for when you clicked on this video. I, I hope you got what you were looking for. As always, thank you for watching. And until the next random video, which will probably be gold mining related, finally. Uh, cheers.